Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. A couple of weeks ago, I released a new panel called Instamask, which will allow us to craft any luminosity mask we want for exposure blending or any other task really. And it now comes with Raya Pro, so you get two panels for the price of one if you're a CC user. And I've had a few people emailing me, asking me what the main differences are between the two panels. So in this video, we're gonna look at some of those differences and how we can take advantage of both of those panels to get the best out of our images. So the main difference between Instamask and Raya Pro is that Instamask is a mask generator. It can allow us to craft pretty much any mask and it gives us a lot of flexibility in how we exposure blend. Now while Raya Pro has a lot of great exposure blending options, it's actually a total workflow solution. It has something for every single step of our workflow in Photoshop. For example, if we go into the Finish tab, we have all of these options which allow us to clean our images. So we have reduced noise, we have two different full size sharpen options, we have two frequency separations. We have these six actions here where you record your own action. So it can be anything you want and you can access them by just clicking the buttons here. And we can sharpen and prepare our images for the web using these two options. And this is for saving our images and changing the color profile of our workflow. Then if we go into Enhance in Raya Pro, we have all of these color options. So we can target specific colors within our image. We can make them more saturated or we can desaturate them. We also have two methods to color correct so we can remove pretty much any color cast with these two options. And if we click into colors here and enhancements, we have lots of different options which simply don't exist in Instamask. So we have things like dark and sky, fake HDR. We have um, the zone contrast options, glow free and glow curve. So we have lots of different options that don't exist in Instamask. Now here's Instamask and these are the main options where we can actually apply the mask that we generate from Instamask. But what about exposure blending? What is the difference between Instamask and Raya Pro? Well, there is one main difference. Raya Pro works directly on the layer. So for example, if I go to blend and we can go to quick blending, here we have our original quick blending options. So for example, I select the layer I'm gonna work on and I just press dark on rapid blend if, and we blend our exposures very quickly by affecting the layers. Now, if we wanna use apply image, for example, if I just make this layer invisible, and if I'm quite an experienced exposure blender, then I will know exactly what mask I wanna create. So I can just say, okay, we'll make a darks one here. And again, that's applied directly to the layer and it's without question the quickest way to exposure blend with masks. We just press one button and it's done. And we have two different options down here, gradient mask, which gives us a beautiful gradient between our exposures. So it often creates a very natural blend, but it's especially useful when we have a flat horizon, which we don't really have here. And we have another option called apply image and GM to recover sky. And when we would use that, we create a gradient mask just as before, but we also remove some of the objects which might be sticking out in our image. So it has the potential to create a more natural blend. And that's the before and after. So none of these things exist on Instamask. Now, if we go to precision masks, which are the newest exposure blending tools in Raya Pro, here we get to apply a mask directly to the layer and we can sample the masks in real time so we can see exactly what they look like on our image. So for example, if I just select the darker exposure and press auto blend dark, you'll see again that we've created the mask on the darker exposure and we're viewing the actual image itself. We're not viewing the mask. Now I can cycle through the different masks and see what they look like in real time on my image. So if I go straight to six, we see that's not a very good mask, but if I go straight to one, that's a good mask. And then I can simply press select. And now I've blended the exposures. And we also have some other tools in Riot Pro, like color zones, which allow us to affect certain colors on our image when we're exposure blending. And we also have some fixed blending options, which are very useful too. So those are some of the things that Riot Pro has. Now let's look at Instamask. Now I'm just gonna delete this layer. Now with Instamask, we always create a layer called Instamask. And we work directly on the mask. So if we press the RGB up here, we see we have the RGB view, so we don't look at the mask anymore. But if we press mask, we can go back to the mask view. And now everything we do basically allows us 
to manipulate that mask and we can see exactly what the mask looks like. Now if I just delete this and I'm going to make this layer invisible, I can press brights one and I can just move the slider and I'm crafting the mask exactly as I want it to be made. And this function doesn't exist in Raya Pro, this ability to see the mask and to manipulate the mask right in front of us. We can even, if we want, choose a paintbrush, white foreground, and paint out certain areas as we go. Then if we're happy, we can select our layer, press apply, and we've now applied that mask to our layer. So we've blended our exposures very easily. Now there is some overlap with Instamask and Raya Pro in the sense that we have these buttons down here and we have dodge and burn and sharpen and a curves layer and levels layer. Now with Raya Pro, when we click on anything like dodge and burn or noise or autumn, that will just create the autumn effect or a noise removal layer or dodge and burn layer. But we can't do that in Instamask. All of these functions are built specifically to work with an Instamask. So if I create brights one again then if i press let's say dodge and burn we now create a dodge and burn layer so we only use these specific buttons with instamask when we really want to make a targeted change but with raya pro when we choose something let's go into enhancements and let's choose um auto effect bright and we press ok and now we've created the Orton effect, which is applied to the entire image. So we can't do that with Instamask. It has to be very targeted. Now you'll notice that we do actually have luminosity masks here in Raya Pro. And I consider these to be more of a legacy function. They're not as good as the ones in Instamask. Now I know some people have asked me, why don't we just remove the luminosity mask section and replace it with the Instamask functions? Well, that was a consideration, but there are two advantages of having Instamask as a separate panel. Firstly, because it's smaller than Raya Pro, we can just fit it into a certain area like this, and it's much more convenient and accessible. And secondly, we haven't been able to create Instamask for CS6 yet. We've tried, but we haven't had any success. But we're still working with developers, so hopefully we can actually get that converted into a CS6 panel. So I hope that's answered some of the questions you've had regarding Raya Pro and Instamask. That's it for me. I'm off to the Isle of Skye to do some shooting. Hopefully I want to get some nice weather and some nice photos. So until next time, I'll see you later.